Hello everyone. In today's video, I thought we'd do something a little bit different and uh, kind of answer one of these questions that have been having for a little while. And that is, uh, why is it that the Patriot missile system, which is a pretty sophisticated surface-to-air missile, anti-ballistic missile, everything under the sun, can only engage targets in one arc, whereas the uh, SA-10B, the S-300PS, which is an older version of the SA-10, has the capability to do it in every direction. So when I first sat down to start working this problem out, I said, well, okay, well, what do the actual radars look like? Maybe it has something to do with the shape of the radar. So I went and dug up some pictures here, and this is the uh, flap lid radar. This is the one that they use in the S300. You'll notice it's got this little kind of thing that can pivot here, and you can actually disconnect it off from the butt of the rest of the truck and spin this around. But the radar fire control itself is this giant actively scanned face array radar that needs to be pointed in order to safely guide the weapons. Remember, on an S300, all the weapons are command guided. Now I'm like, well, what is it different on the Patriot? Huh. <laughs> it has a different truck, apparently, but as you can see, this entire system clearly is designed to rotate as well. So I immediately said, well, wait a minute, that makes no sense. That means if this thing could be rotated, then hypothetically, I could change its arc. But what I could never, ever do is actually engage targets behind me because I can't physically point my radar in the direction in order to get a safe lock to guide weapons that direction. Coming back to this guy, again, pretty obvious to me here that he'd have the exact same limitation. So what happens when we get over into command? Well, when we get into command, uh, you'll probably notice that I've got my S300 here. If I were to flip on his fire control radars, go ahead and hit that, whoop, i got to change my sensors mode real quick to make this a little bit simpler. I'll go ahead and flip that switch on. Now notice I can see in a nice, beautiful circle directly around me. Now, if I flip the one over on the Patriot on, it's a little bit different. I'm going to click on this guy real quick, turn the active radar, and whoop, you can see that his search and his fire control radar only has one available arc at its disposal, which means it can only safely engage targets in this direction with its regular missiles, that would be the Gem 3s, but it also has these things called errants, which actually have the ability to have cooperative engagement, which are a little bit different of a weapon. You can actually shoot those over the shoulder without even using this fire control radar, only if you have some kind of you know high quality lock or something. So let's go ahead and demonstrate what this looks like and why this doesn't work. Also in the scenario, by the way, I have an ANTPS 43 because, you know, I have that in every scenario. So we have ourselves a little target over here. I'm going to go ahead and order up the Patriot to engage. Shouldn't take too much effort. Patriot, of course, has this really, really sophisticated. This is the MPQ-65 radar. The early one was the 53. And we see we have ourselves another target over this way. I'll go ahead and click on him and go ahead and engage him as well. So we're going to go ahead and switch over modes real quickly to make it a little bit easier to see. All right, so the Patriot has no difficulty in deploying these weapons in this general direction. Splatters that guy. But notice this guy right here is completely untouched and untouchable because it's outside of that engagement arc. So what we're going to do now is we're going to grab this F-16. We'll go ahead and drop him down to medium altitude. Go ahead and flip on his own fire control radar. And we'll start making our way over to where we know that Patriot battery is chilling. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and just engage the target on the ground. Oh, there he is right there. Perfect. Shift one. Let's make sure I'm targeting the right one here. Lock onto that sucker real quick. We'll give him a two Maverick Ds. Get a little bit closer so we can get into range. Of course, if we were doing this in something other than uh, flights, or I should say, command here, we'd probably be doing this well, a little bit differently. I believe we're in range. Uh, you're going to fire those things, or you're just going to sit there? It'll be unusual this air. So notice, I can drive right up to this guy, turn around, and get the heck out of here without any concerns. Now, here's where things get kind of interesting, actually. So if you take a look, our F-16 is fired, and he's completely untouchable as these two Mavericks come rushing down to our Patriot here. So what'll happen now is um, he'll just sit there relaxing. And what's this? You get some last-minute shots from these. These are the errant missiles. Now, if you remember, these weapons can be guided by data link. It's actually possible, even though this weapon is not facing the correct direction, that we can actually order them to engage these incoming missiles, even though we're not actually pointing our fire control radar in the right direction. Now, of course, if it were nighttime and or we didn't have any support, for example, this guy was an active or something along those lines, we wouldn't be able to see these missiles. But right now, the only thing we can do is we can actually see them because who's helping us out here? The S-300, which means if the S-300 were in here, these weapons would not be able to be fired. The S-300 is actually providing an accurate enough lock that they can be locked backwards. So the system isn't completely defenseless, but it is still a little weird. And obviously, F-16 had no difficulty deploying its weapons there. And as you can see as well, it had no difficulty striking the Patriot battery. Now, let's go ahead and reset things real quickly. Go ahead and grab back my red scenario. And this time, let's try out the S300 to see if it's a little different. Again, different generation, but they're not too far apart from each other. So go ahead and order the F1 attack option. The system automa- <laughs> Hey there, buddy. I think you got a little ahead of yourself there. Let's go back to my S300. Oh, that would explain it. We'll say free fire. And we'll delete that Patriot, because why not? Notice, he has no difficulty firing in that direction. I'll go ahead and move this missile backwards to give this guy a little bit more time to go ahead and get into range. Give it just a little bit more time. I'll go ahead and back them up. Oh, it turns out that missile didn't quite leave the rail as early as we thought it did. 
Nah, I'm gonna delete it and let him try again. All right, notice this guy, even though he has that radar that only faces one direction, easily was able to fire weapons that are being guided in opposite directions and continue to track both of those targets perfectly. So of course, uh, one of our 16s probably dumped the world's uh, most amount of chaff to not get splattered by that thing, but uh, that's a different issue. So already, it just doesn't feel right, and hopefully somebody in the comments can uh, bring a little bit of illumination onto why that might be that. It might also just be a bug or it might be a limitation. I don't know. So of course, I'm sitting there going, well, what if we gave the Patriot the same capability? So I said, wait a minute, I know how to do that. So we'll grab onto our little Patriot right here. We'll go ahead and get a sensors window real quick. I'm going to remove the MPQ-65. Hit add. We're going to go ahead and add it back on. So we'll do MPQ-65. <laughs> this is just not fair. Turn that sucker on and whoosh. Now my MPQ-65 can now make this Patriot battery just as fair as our S300 buddies. So notice now we have no problem launching Patriots in opposite directions and we splattered one F-16, and that guy's probably going to get hit. So like I said, I'm just kind of confused about this, and I was kind of hoping somebody might be able to kind of elucidate us a little bit here and explain why that acts that way. Again, there could be something stupid that I'm missing here. It's like maybe the system actually has three radars, and they face all directions. But when I check, clearly they only have a single radar system. There's a single. So how is it possible? I'm just confused. Other than that, enjoy.